So one of the issues I'm trying to figure out is like the integrity of my operation is intact, but the overall function of my apiary sits in empty boxes, right? Now I have to fill boxes to be able to use up all this comb as my nuke battery. And the desperate attempt to put bees on comb before the wax moth takes them. And I'm seeing them, I'm seeing the little dirty bastards. They're taking my wax already. So we're making up a bunch of nukes. We're sending them out to the field and I'm about to receive a bunch of packages to dump into these nukes tonight. Uh, my importer, he's a magic man. He's uh, on his en route with these packages, bringing them back. He said they're in great shape. So as soon as they arrive at his shop, I'm going to go pick them up at the trailer and we're going to dump them into my boxes here. I could pull a muscle in my back. But this muscle usually flares up when I meet certain stress thresholds. I think it's just my body telling me to slow the heck down. I definitely had a stress event yesterday. I went to pick up some package bees. Picked up three pallets. I'm starting to have a wax moth issue within my dead oat equipment. So I made the decision to use some insurance money I had. Well, no, I'm using all the insurance money I had. And the allotted budgeted emergency fund within the farm. I haven't triggered that since 2014. <clears throat> and I bought a bunch of bees to put on comb to deal with these bloody wax moths so I don't lose my investment. Blah, 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 whatever. So I go down and pick up these bees. I think it's 33 degrees. It's hot. They come into my importer's place in excellent condition. Load them onto my trailer pull away, secure my load out of his yard so I'm not bothering him and making my way like an old lady down the highway to get back here to drop these packages into their boxes. And I hit an invisible <clears throat> pothole, I think it was. Trailer bounced and swayed and one of my packages, like the, one of my pallets of packages uh, fell apart tipped over and bees everywhere. So I was, got into the trailer and started pulling this pile of packages. And one thing about those clamshells is they pull apart. So I had like five or six of them pull apart on me and here I am, stopped on the side of the road, no airflow coming through the shed, two other pallets sitting there that needed airflow or they overheat, and a big pile of packages that are in the verge of overheating because they're in a pile, and I had to pull them apart, stack them up, and I called the old man over at the truck and he raced out as fast as he could. Here now, I was pulling packages out of the trailer. just to try to relieve the congestion to get more airflow so I could start driving and get these packages into the shed here. Like, holy Christ, it was touch and go there. So we got the packages back to the honey house here. We unloaded everything into the shop. And we only had 10 casualties in one of the stacks. But I'm telling you, these bees smell absolutely terrific. They are in great shape. I was expecting to get two pallets put into boxes last night, but we only got the one pallet that I tipped into boxes. So we're going to put this one in this morning, and then we're going to put this one in this evening. And as we were dumping these packages in to the equipment last night, they are in absolute terrific shape. These 
bees, they are, one thing I notice, they are so gentle. Like I'm in that, I'm in the trailer pulling apart this heap of packages. And I have a few packages that have pulled apart so there's bees flying everywhere. You know, I didn't have my bee suit. I mean, why would you bring a bee suit when you're bringing packages back from the package supplier? Gentle as little puppy dogs. So that was the peak of excitement yesterday. Oh, they're just beautifully clustered. Gotta get these girls into their boxes. 5.30 in the morning and they are flying already. These were the casualties. I think we lost 10, but we're able to salvage these ones from the pile. So these girls are all good. It's just we had to sort the mess out a little bit. Once they get settled, we'll make sure they're all hunky-dory. They are up and ready to take on the day. My wife joining the honey crew. <laughs> Morning. Quite a treat. She can't get away from this work now. No excuses. Beautiful little queenie. Bees. Yeah. on the feed. These are like little puppy dogs. Cages come off easy. Okay, you said you moved the first one, right? Just make sure.
best not to kill any bees in the description. Of the Just toss them to the side. We'll clean up the mess after. Okay, I'm gonna go get another pallet of bees. You can just keep on working until you catch up with the guys. I'll see you in a bit. Just running for the last pallet. We are making great time. It's supposed to be extremely hot today. So these bees are better in the box than they are in the, in the package. It is just before seven. So if we can get them shook into the box before eight, they should be able to settle in before they start taking the first orientation flights. And I'm pushing it a bit, but we gotta get her done. As you can see, my brother gave me the old trailer. I was casting out for $70,000 worth of bees. I was directed towards this hunk of junk, and my stress level just went up. It worked. Getting her done. Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't call it an old hunk of junk. That's what mom and dad raised the family on. Maybe I'll be so lucky to have a kid say the same about my bee truck.
You are an honorary beekeeper now. <laughs> My wife back on the bee team. How are you making out? Uh, pretty good. This uh, queen doesn't want to come out though. It's a frustrating one. Better that than him falling down. Look at the bees in there. Holy man. Just before 8 o'clock. We are pushing the boundaries just a little bit. I cannot seem to do it with just with not taking them apart like I do. Do whatever you gotta do. All I want is these bees in the boxes. Gonna march in. That's it? Little bees are just marching into the queen. Yep. Four shaking bees is, makes pretty quick work. one on the team. Well, you're, whatever ones you shake <laughs> are packages I don't have to shake. Kind of pushing the boundaries a little bit. Got lots of bee flight. I like to put them in in the evening so they kind of have time to stick to the boxes. <clears throat> but with a few hitches and extreme heat coming, these bees need to be in the boxes. That's all there is to it. There's no doubt and there's a lot of problems with them, what I'm doing right now. First off, too many colonies in one yard, but they seem to be sorting themselves out. But this first flight, I'm going to see some drift. I'm just hoping the drift isn't too bad. But it seems just little pockets here and there. One of the reasons why I don't release the queens when I'm shaking in bees is because some, well, especially when you're doing it first thing in the morning like this, and then I get up and fly right away, sometimes the colony gets really excited and that queen that you just released will go straight out that front door and hang in the tree with a bunch of bees. And it becomes a real problem because when there's an orientation flight like this, when it's really busy, that excitement will catch the bees. And you have this big mass of bees hanging from the trees. I'm not especially experienced as a lot of beekeepers are with sh shaking packages, but I am Canadian, so I know how to shake packages. I'm seeing a little bit of activity up there. So I might be losing a little bit of bees drifting up to that treetop there. But for the most part, the rest seem somewhat organized. I'm gonna come back here tonight just to make sure that everything's kind of settled through. Oh, the stress of it all. My nerves are just shot. I wish I could have done most of this last night and then have a chance for them to stick to their box and, you know, own it before they actually get up and to fly. But it's just so busy. You're just playing with the lesser of two evils sometimes. There, 10 minutes have passed and the yard is settled right down. The activity up in the tree, they've come back down. No more activity up there. And they're focusing more of their flight around the entrance. I wish I could have got these into their colonies in the evening. And then I would have eliminated this what the heck flight. Uh, a little bit busy over there yet. place over there is a little bit busy. I just got to get out of this yard. There's nothing I can do about it. I'll come back this evening and we'll just see what kind of damage there is for drift. Middle of the afternoon, 36 degrees. 
and we have order. All that confusion has settled in and we have zero, no, we have one pallet that's taking a bit of drift. I am so relieved. Whew. Look at this. Orientation flights. Maybe even some foraging. Perfect. Very little drift. I'm not gonna lie to you, my stress level was quite high this morning, seeing the confusion of the flight, pushing the boundaries just a little bit, looking up into the trees where they were mm -hmm. congregating and they've settled all back down. Oof. And that is another reason why I wanted to get this work done in the morning because with this heat comes thunderstorms. Now my hives are all nicely tucked in. I don't have to worry about a pallet of bees in the hot room trying to keep them cool and not being able to get them out because of weather. Whew. Listen to this flight. Just a beautiful sound. Just going around and cleaning up some stuff. Perfect. So very little drift. One, two, three, four, five frames of bees. That is a late honey crop. I'll show you the one pallet that's caused problems. So this is the only pallet that's caused problems. Taking a bit of drift. That side was taking drift. So I moved that side over to this side. Because they were a little bit smaller and very big. So now these guys are getting a little bit bigger. But this is going to be too much. This is taking drift from this area in here for some reason. But these hives, I mean, you can't even tell. Five frames of bees. Five frames of bees. Everything is just perfect. I am such a happy camper. Extreme heat, extreme weather, 